Google Sheets Creating Simple Formulas When working with numerical information, Google Sheets can be used to perform calculations. In this lesson, you'll learn how to create simple formulas that will add, subtract, multiply, and divide values. You will also be introduced to the basics of using cell references in formulas. After you have reviewed this slide's presentation and watched the video that's attached here, you'll proceed on down to the What You Will Do section. In this section, it explains what you will need to do in order to complete this assignment. The first step says open our example file and make sure you're signed into Google and click, click File, Make a Copy. Just like we've always done already in this class, we're going to make a copy of this document. And click File and make a copy. You can save it here and move it to your DAR folder if you choose. I'm going to click OK and wait for mine to load. First thing that I want to do once I have opened up my file is to rename this file. I'm going to call mine demo, and I'll also move it to my DAR folder here. Let's go on back to Canvas just to check to see what our next step is. The next step says select the challenge sheet. Number two, select the challenge sheet. All right, so when we open up our new presentation, our new Google Sheet, it automatically opens up to Sheet 1. This is not the sheet that we will be using to complete the tasks today. Please remember to select Challenge Sheet. So we've selected Challenge Sheet. Let's go back to Canvas to see Step 3. Step 3 says in cell D4, create a formula that multiplies cells B4 and C4. Be sure to use cell references. In order to complete this step, it is important that we review this slide here. Make this just a little bit bigger so you can see what I'm referring to. On this slide, it talks about the mathematical operators that we can use within Google Sheets. Google Sheets uses standard operators for formulas, a plus sign for addition, a minus sign for subtraction, asterisk for multiplication, and a forward slash for division, and then a caret for exponents. It's important that we remember these operators as we are creating formulas. However, we've mentioned already, but it's important to, to review that all formulas must begin with the quality sign. This is because the cell con contains or is equal to the formula and the value it calculates. So that cell is directly equal to the formula contained within that cell. You'll understand a little bit more of this as we begin to create our initial formulas. And again, let's review step three. It says in cell D4, create a formula that multiplies, if you revert, Refer back to our chart just above. That multiplication symbol is the asterisk. Multiply cells B4 and C4. Be sure to use cell references. Cell references are those addresses where each cell is located, such as B4, D7, H22. Those are all cell references. Let's go back to our presentation once again, our spreadsheet once again. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so that you can see 
what we are doing here. And on this challenge side slide, it says we needed to multiply B4 times C4. Row 4, column B, by row 4, column C. In order to write this, as I mentioned before, we're going to start with the equal sign. Then I'll put the word sum. And then I'll use a parenthesis. Now this basic beginning to a formula is something that most spreadsheets will use in order to create basic formulas. Equals sum parenthesis. Now, it says to use the cell references. We're going to use the cell references, such as B4. And then we wanted to multiply that using the asterisk. We want to multiply B4 times C4. And then we'll close it with our parenthesis and click off of it or press enter, and it automatically generates $107.80. So I want to verify if this is actually correct. So I'm going to open up a calculator really quickly here. And I'll multiply the numbers that it gives me. There's 20 times 539, and that does equal 107 and 80 cents. Let's go back to uh, our Canvas page just to see what the next step is. Step four says, use the fill handle to copy the formula to cells D5 and D6. Once again, back to our spreadsheet. And I'm going to click on D4, cell D4, and you'll know that you are clicked on cell D4 because the border will turn blue. That is the cell where you currently are located. Now, if you remember correctly, the fill handle is located in the lower right-hand corner, and it's that small blue square. I'm going to use that fill handle to fill cells D5 and D6. As I hover over the fill handle, my cursor turns to a crosshair. I'm able to click, hold it, and drag down to cell D6. And it automatically generates that same formula. You can see the formula located here in the formula bar at the top of your spreadsheet. So the formula that is in D4 is B4 times C4. The formula in D5 is B5 times D C5. And the same thing with D6, it is B6 times C6. Great. It seems like our formula has worked properly. Let's go on back to Canvas to see the next step. The next step, step five says, in cell D7, create a formula that adds cells D4, D5, and D6. Go back to our spreadsheet and in Cell D7, we'll click on it here. We'll know that it is clicked since our border is blue. We're going to begin just like we did the others. It equals sum, excuse me, sum, and parenthesis. Now I want to add D4, D5, and D6. I could simply type D4 plus D5 plus D6 and close my parenthesis. I could do that. 
However, it is possible that I could potentially add a new line item of purchases here. And maybe I had another item I was going to purchase and I wanted to add that into the total. That might not be the most effective formula to use. Instead, we're going to start with D4. And I'll use my colon symbol. And then I will use the D4 being the very first cell in that column. And then I want to use the very last cell in that column. So D4, first cell, colon, last cell, which is D6. And then I'll once again close it with my parenthesis. I can press enter or click off of it, and it should give me 233. 39. Let's use a calculator to just to see if that is correct. So I've got 107 and 80 cents. I'm going to add 11.35 and then I'll add 114 and 24 cents. Gives me 233 and 39 cents. That is indeed what I have in my cell D7. My formula worked properly. Let's go back over to our Canvas page. And step six says change the quantity in cell B4 to 15. You should also see cells D4 and D7 change. Okay, so let's go back to our presentation, our slides, excuse me, our sheets. And I'm going to select cells D4, and I'm going to you don't need to do this on your side, um, but I need to add a color to this and a color to this one, just so that you can see what I'm about to add and so that you can see that it is different. And then I'm going to change the quantity in cell B4, I change that to 15. As soon as I click off of it or press enter, you'll notice that the figures in D4 and D7 will change. And they did. Let me go ahead and revert this colors back to the original because uh, I did not need to actually change that. I was just highlighting it uh, for presentation purposes. Once you've got this, you can click on that share button change the link to MSD Warren Township, and copy your link so that you can submit that link using the URL on the Canvas page.